Welcome back. From his days at Rupp Arena to the NBA to right back here at his hometown, Derek Anderson was not just touched by the devastation of Hurricane Harvey. He wanted to make a difference, and he is here now with why your help is so important. It's so good to see you. Good morning. Good morning to you. Let's start with, you know, why you felt the need to help our neighbors down in the South. Well, I think everything that we do in life is predicated on what you leave behind. And I think um, from me, it's basically what Ali has taught me and, and the principles of uh, your service to others is what you do for people. And I think that's what I've always wanted to do. And knowing how I grew up and how other people helped me to get to where I was really mattered to yeah. me. So every day I felt like when people are in, in need, we should step up and do something for them. So for those who aren't familiar, we see a lot on Twitter, hashtag a -OK. <laughs> right. So explain to those at home, what is Acts of Kindness, that movement and its purpose? Well, for, uh, again, I see that everything that I do is based upon character issues. Mm -hmm. And I think people throw money around, but I think if you don't change the character of a person, you can't change the community. So for me, it's, I think if kindness could, could be the the fix of everything, we would have a better community, we'd have better results in everything that we do. So I decided to create acts of kindness and everything, it touches people uh, from just a personality standpoint. If I spoke to you every day, yeah. that keeps you from being in depression mode, keeps you from being negative, as opposed to people ignore each other, now everyone's bitter and angry at each other. Yeah. So for me, if you can teach that mindset and change that mindset, we can, we can make it better. So Acts of Kindness is built on personality more than anything. Okay, so now as far as Texas, what are your plans? When are you heading down there? What are you taking? Who are you teaming up with? Uh, I teamed up with a high school friend of mine, Josh Rosenberg, and uh, he's does Accent Food Services, and he's been doing a great job down there. So what we do is we've uh, gained a lot of attention by helping people, but I'm doing the fundraising and he's doing the footwork. So okay. now I'm going down there and getting the trenches with him and he's done everything. So for me, it's making sure we go down there and not just give them always just the food, but they have to survive. So I created acts of kindness beds so people can sleep in private tents. Mm -hmm. They don't have to worry about people taking their stuff and you don't know who's out there. You don't know what's going on. So we've created a brand that we can take people and actually give them another life because it's going to be rough. It's going to be a start over. Yeah. But starting over, you need the privacy, you need your life. You need to get kind of familiar in how you can be okay and uh, a-okay. There you and go. And that's what we want to do. Make sure they, they're comfortable at all times. He brings the food, I bring the bed, they're yeah. good. Something as small as just a, a private place to rest your head yeah. with all that they're going through. Yeah. So for people at home, what can they do to help? Well, I think just go to my site, Acts of Kindness, uh, staminafd.com, and you'll see everything that we're doing. It's basically there, like my gift card. Okay. Like, you know, instead of just giving cash, like, you send money, we'll send them a gift card, and you know where your money went because it's going to them. You don't know what they actually need. You can't send clothes sometimes because you don't know if they fit. Yeah. But this gives them an opportunity to get what they need, survive, and keep living the next day so they can keep built. Okay, go ahead and show us one of you. You've got some T-shirts as well. Yeah, yeah, well, I'll get you one too. But yeah. We have the uh, Acts of Kindness uh, for shirts, and it's... Uh, you can see the back okay. and basically we just want to make sure that we do everything that we can to support each other and again I want people to know where their money's going you know mm -hmm. people send money and then you don't know where it's you going don't sometimes. always know Derek That's but the for truth. us we want to show where we're going where it's going to and what we're doing with it so when I go down there next week I'm telling my kids and uh, the kids that I train my basketball team stamina is we got to do more than just play a sport we got to do more than just work a job you have to be in a humane society where, where everyone is being humble and enjoying each other. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a life lesson that I'm trying to teach and, and where I'm going to put my foot in work. The age old principle of being kind to one another. Who would have thought? I that, mean, that it's cost great. A, doesn't cost a dime to be kind. Sure does. And tell us about the Stamina Foundation. Uh, I, I like what I'm doing because the program you is teaching people how to think and again, it's character issue, mm -hmm. character building. Um, I like to, instead of talking a lot, I like to put people in leadership roles. So if a kid wants to be a, a school teacher, you got to learn the principles of, of how to teach and how to lead. So it's not always talking. What would you do if you're in a situation? Would you hire you? Would you trust you? Okay. Would you depend on you? Are you being you? Like those type of core principles based upon how we treat each other and how you act. And those are habits. So the foundation is basically just giving, helping people out with acts of kindness and teaching people a different mindset. Again, you can't throw money at problems. You got to change the character to change the community. One person at a time. That's it. So we're talking about Harvey and so focused on the recovery, but we've got Irma looming. We know Florida yeah. is going to be hit hard. Is that on your mind too? It always is. Mm -hmm. uh, it's because I see people that can't control certain situations. You can't control the weather, but you can control what happens after that. So for me, it's making sure that when I go to Miami or uh, wherever I'm going, I'm going to make sure that people are always okay. You know, even I started home and want to build our community, but I want those young people that we're helping here yeah. to do something. Not always giving, like take, take, take. Go give something back. 
So I think what I'm doing is preparing myself to go down to Miami because I, I lived there. You lived there for the heat, I've, yeah. And I've seen what a storm can do. Okay. And it was rough. It was a lot of work that we need to do, but you got to go put your foot in the work. You know, I think that's the difference. I go put my foot in the ground and I step with them, walk with them, not just send money. Go be involved in it and you can see the, see the difference that you can actually make every day. Action speaks so loudly. So staminafd.com is, yes. is how people at home can donate. Yes. When you give me those details about Florida, you make sure you let me know, okay? Will do. Will Safe do. travels to you. As Thank always, you. you at home, you're so welcome. You will find all this information on our website, whas11.com, as soon as we get off air. Speaking of Irma, Kayla, let's go ahead and send it over to you for another check. Yes, indeed. The folks in Florida are going to be dealing with Irma and her.